And item 11, discussion and possible action regarding authorizing the monthly transfer of funds from the City of Friendswood to the City of Friendswood Employee Benefit Trust. Second. Motion is second. All in favor? Item 12, discussion and possible action regarding appointments and reappointments to the following committees, boards, and commissions. There are two items here. I'm going to read all of these and then call for a motion. Zoning Board of Adjustment and Appeals appoint Philip Radisseau to a two-year term expiring July 2021 to replace Greg Hughes. Reappoint Michael Fernandez and Glenn Mintz to two-year terms expiring July 2021. Keep Friendswood Beautiful. Appoint Cheryl Sauls to an unexpired term expiring November 2021 to replace David Montz, who resigned. Motion to approve. Second. Motion to second. All in favor? Item 13, discussion of possible action regarding approving revisions to the emergency event pay policy. Just, oh, Bill's getting back up here. What we did, we worked in cooperation with the emergency management uh, section of the city to make sure this met the FEMA expectations and also to simplify an understanding so the employees can understand what they're possibly getting paid for in an emergency should it be declared by the mayor or the city manager. Thanks, Bill. I get a motion. Motion to approve. Second. Motion to second. All in favor? Thank you again. Thanks, Bill. Item 14, discussion of possible action regarding the public, educational, and government access television peg channel computer upgrade. Motion. Second. Motion to second. All in favor? Thanks for being willing, Jeff, but uh, I think we all read ahead on the <clears throat> proposal and we're all good with it. Item 16, discussion and possible action regarding a change order with Angel Brothers to address additional currently outlined paving improvements. Second. Motion is second. All in favor? Seven, nothing. 17, discussion and possible action regarding concurrence with the city manager's appointment of Hildardo Arias the position of Director of Engineering, City Engineer. I'll make the motion. Uh, motion a second. So I don't know if he still wants the job after hearing all tonight, tonight's <laughs> discussion. Um, but uh, Hildardo uh, goes by Hill uh, for Thank short, you. and he's uh, joining us next Monday. August 12th will be his first day. Um, with that, would you like an opportunity to introduce yourself? Yes, thank you, uh, Mr. Mayor, uh, Council Members. I wanted to thank you for the opportunity to uh, be here. Uh, everybody I've met so far here in Friendswood has been so welcoming, and I'm uh, excited to be here. Uh, and I just wanted to uh, say that I hope to uh, serve you well and serve the people well, and uh, uh, always do what's best for Friendswood. And I'm not here to grill you, but where are you coming from, Hill? Well, I'm coming from uh, Pampa, uh, that is, Northeast of Amarillo. We got a lot of drainage it's only problems. In a half hour commute, so. You're a Texas Tech. You're a Texas Tech Red Raider, aren't you? I am. Get your guns up, buddy. You're all right with me already. Well, <laughs> welcome to drainage problems. <laughs> we need plenty of water back up there. So. Yeah. All right. Well, welcome, Hill. All in favor. Okay, we've got a vote on it. Seven nothing. Item 18, discussion of possible action regarding approving the Friendswood Downtown Economic Development Corporation FDEDC contract with Gandhi 2 Lighting Design authorizing the expenditure of funds and authorizing the FDEDC president to execute the contract. Motion and a second. All in favor? Did, uh, oh, there he is. Pat, I was looking for you. I was looking for you. Are you the new president of FDEDC? Congratulations. Mayor Keep it short. Council, do you have any questions about this? I know. <laughs> we would have asked questions. All right, back to work. Do good work. Yeah. Okay, uh, resolutions, item 19, resolution 2019-22, a resolution of the City of Friendswood, Texas, finding that Centerpoint Energy Houston Electric LLC's requested increase 
to its electric transmission and distribution rates and charges within the city should be denied. Motion second. Motion second. All in favor? Seven nothing. Resolution 2019-23, a resolution of the City Council of the City of Friendswood, Texas, expressing its full support for the retention of funding currently identified for segment second. D, Grand Parkway. Motion and second. All in favor? I yes. Let the mayor finish. <laughs> you don't. 20-19-24 resolution of the City Council of the City of Friendswood, Texas, amending and replacing resolution 2019-01 with the resolution authorizing and approving the 2018 Community Development Block Grant Disaster Recovery, designating authorized officials and approving the implementing of a citizen participation plan. Motion to approve. Second. Motion and a second. All in favor? Ordinances. Ordinance number T2019-24, the second and final reading of an ordinance amending the zoning classification for a tract or parcel containing 1.7243 acres located at 108 Whispering Pines Avenue, Friendswood, Texas, by granting a zone classification change from single-family residential to downtown district. Motion and a second. Motion and a second. All in favor? Ordinance T2019-25, second and final reading of an ordinance amending the Zoning classification for a tract or parcel containing 1.8367 acres located at 110 Whispering Pines Avenue, Friendswood, Texas, by granting a zone classification change from single family residential to downtown district. Motion and a second. All in favor? <coughs> T2019 26, second and final reading of an ordinance amending the zoning classification for a tract of land containing 0.7471 acres. Located at 17158 Blackhawk Boulevard, Friendswood, Texas, by granting a zone classification change from neighborhood commercial to neighborhood commercial specific use permit to allow NAICS use 8131 religious organizations. Second. Motion is second. All in favor? T2019 22nd, second and final reading of an ordinance amending section 34 24 to adopt the FIRM for Galveston County and incorporated areas that becomes effective August 15, 2019, which establishes the areas of special flooding hazard for Galveston County. Motion. Second. Motion and a second. All in favor? Ordinance number T2019-28, second and final reading of an ordinance amending section 70-196 of the Code of Ordinances pertaining to use of temporary means of marking utilities on paved surfaces within public rights away. Motion to approve. Second. Motion and a second. All in favor? T2019-30, first reading of an ordinance amending the zoning classification for 402 East Edgewood Drive, being a 3.38 five-second acre tract of land out of Lot 21 of the Hoydale and Kaufman subdivision of the northeast part of the Perry and Austin League, abstract number two, Galveston County, Friendswood, Texas, by granting an amendment to ordinance t 20 I'm sorry, 2015-26 by adding NAICS use number 8121 personal care services, but otherwise subject to the prior regulations, restrictions, and conditions of Ordinance 95-3, establishing the planned unit development for the use of the subject property. Motion and a second. All in favor. Ordinance T-2019-31, first reading of an ordinance changing the prior zoning classification of attractive land consisting of 0.918. 981 acres, also known as lots 1, 2, and 3 in Winding Hollow subdivision, providing for an amendment to plan unit development 2016-01 to consider a new site plan and building elevations for a building to be constructed on the lot located at 107 Shadwell Lane, but otherwise subject to the prior regulations, restrictions, and conditions of Ordinance T-2016-01. Motion and second. And a second. All in favor. Is that what Adam was waiting on? Ordinance number T2019-32, first reading of an ordinance amending Appendix D, the schedule of fees for building permits as a result of House Bill 852. We sort of discussed this already, uh, that uh, we're going from valuation to square footage. Motion to approve. Second. Motion to second. All in favor? I did have one little change. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> section. Well, Start bring the meeting it, over. Bring it that back next month. <laughs> On uh, number five, I and J, we're doing 30 cents a square foot for garage or non-habitable um, space. But I wanted to add just a minimum of $25 for a permit fee. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Oh. We 
already approved it, so you can't follow it around. Oh, okay. So I'll make a motion to reconsider. Second. Motion to reconsider. Okay. Is that all you wanted to say? Now, now I make a motion to approve with the amendments as uh, requested. And I'll second. By staff. Okay. All in favor. Thank you. Hey, Aubrey. Thank you. And for council's benefit, those changes will be appear in the second reading of the ordinance. So you will. First and final reading of an ordinance adopting budget amendment 10, the original general budget of the city for fiscal year 2018-2019. All in favor. Communication from mayor and council members. Jeff, you got something? I'll go first because I got visual aids, maybe. I don't know if y'all uh, read or heard that you got, got you got nothing. Good. I got something just really quick. It, well, that, oh, you well, go ahead. Out. Go ahead, Mayor. So we got three uh, Friendswood residents living on the International Space Station right now. Uh, Nick Haig was nice enough to take a Friendswood flag up with him. So when he comes back in March, uh, we'll have a special presentation. We'll get our flag back after it traveled many millions of miles in space. But that is the. Uh, Cupola on the International Space Station. That is a Soyuz uh, vessel approaching. That's a Russian cosmonaut. Don't ask me to pronounce his name. That's uh, Nick Haig there in the maroon shirt. Air Force colors, I guess. This is Drew Morgan, Friendswood resident. Drew Morgan. They all are happy to see Christina. He just arrived on July 20th. They'll stay until, uh, I think, March. They, they got a long stay. And that is Luca Parmitano. Luca Parmitano is an Italian astronaut, but he lives in Friendswood. So we're He's claiming got, him. He got the best haircut amongst the group, I would say. <laughs> Built for speed, yeah. So that is the current space station crew right there. Three of them from Friendswood, two from Russia, and one from, I don't know where Christina's from, probably Webster or something. Thanks, Jeff. Okay, Brent, got anything? Um, all I want to reiterate is, you know, there's there's no right or wrong way to this bond's going to be a Rubik's cube. It's everybody's going to have to look at it a different way and decide what's the best for them. All of us up here only have one vote, just like the rest of you, and we just have to all digest the information the best we can, decide what's important for us and the future of this city and like this place is an investment for us, and we just got to make sure that it's best for the future. I got. I just like to apologize for my chest uh, and the way I nasal and everything. It's just I've been down for five days, and uh, I do want to mention if you live here, shop here. Uh, my wife and daughter had, took advantage of me being sick and went to Bergamos and had massages, and then they stayed till 9 o'clock. So obviously they've got a lot of good things going over there in Ber Bergamos that you can eat. They have some wine and beer. And uh, please, if you get a chance, go check it out. And I want to mention Edge Repair on 2351, I mean on Sunset and 528, right by Potter's Liquor. I dropped my city uh, laptop and broke the glass on it, and, and they repaired it in two days, and it looks brand spanking new. And I'm sorry I hadn't told the uh, IT guy that yet. But <laughs> <laughs> And um, the only other thing that I want to mention is that on August the 12th is, when is our casino? Casino night, um, casino day. Is that the August the 12th at the Grand Casino at the Senior Activity Center? get my phone. August the 12th. August 16th. Go with that. Uh, no. Everybody meet Robert there. He'll loan you some No, money I'll double check. I want everybody to double check because we're having our grand casino evening and it's going to be a wonderful opportunity for you to come out and play some dominoes, play some poker, play some... Uh, Whatever craps, whatever you want to play, but they're going to have a good time at the Senior Activity Center, so come on out. And lots and lots of prizes. 
So I had the opportunity to <coughs> attend a PNZ meeting and always learn so much. Thank you. Always learn so much uh, when I attend those meetings and keep friends with beautiful and also Fourth of July all in the same week. I was, or I continue to be, blown away by all the volunteers we have in this community and the quality of people that are stepping up and serving on different committees and working so hard. And so that's a good segue to thanking our Mayor Pro Tem, Sally Branson, and Steve Rocky that I know helped to chair that um, Apollo uh, celebrations in the community. I know it was your idea. But uh, that was a lot of fun. I took my kids to the park, and uh, they, build, they built rockets, and uh, we're going to go shoot them off somewhere. It was great. There were so many different communities. I know there's a lot of work on top of everything else you'll do, so thank you very much for that. That's where I shared this. Well, I'd like to echo that. Thanks. Mo started it, and Trish, thank you. There were a lot of groups, and we had our seed money with the Rotary Foundation. So that whole 50th anniversary month-long celebration was all privately funded. And so we have a Rotary Club to thank, and we also have 21 individual uh, donors that uh, contributed to that. Those anniversary, 50th anniversary, banners are up and down Friends of Drive. In case somebody asks you if they can buy one, the answer is no. <laughs> that is what helped us with our fundraising to pay for the month-long activities. I also want to thank the library. Um, somebody came up with the idea of panels, and somebody ran with it. So I just want to thank the library. They took the really the lion's share of this uh, 50th anniversary celebration and just went to town. So Matt, I want to thank you and your staff. Y'all did just a fantastic job. Um, there were others here at the city. The Parks and Rec group helped us out with Saturday in the park. Jeff Newver helped us out with the communication across the community. PD, EMS came out and hung out at the park, and at one point in time, I looked over there, and they were participating in our 60s games. I was very excited. <laughs> Anyways, it was a great community effort. A lot of folks stepped up and really appreciate that. I um, also want to thank the Galveston County Consolidated Drainage District. Um, they uh, just recently, we've got a picture of it, completed a canoe launch in the area over there by 1776 Park. That's now all being cleared out for a drainage and what have you, and they, while they're there and they're moving all that dirt, they have created a canoe launch. So we will have a, Rotary has begun an annual Rotary Regatta, and that will happen again this fall. Last fall was the first revival of, if any of y'all are really old, you remember the canoe safari? I'm looking at Kitten. She knows exactly what I'm talking about. Back in the 80s, so we have revived that. So um, anyway, that's really a lot of fun. And then coming up on September the 2nd this year is the annual Labor Day Ice Cream Social that the Historical Society uh, takes the lead on. However, KFB... Uh, FDFA, and most recently this year, Heritage Gardeners are all partnering. So we have a lot of nonprofits that are giving back to our community, and once again, that's a privately funded event. But if you like Bluebell ice cream, and we found out that many of our citizens do, come out to the Perry home this year and enjoy some ice cream with us on Labor Day. Steve. I wanted to mention that August 17th is the Clear the Shelter Day. This is a national event but friends would participate for the first time last year and are doing it again this year. This is at the animal shelter. Last year, I think they uh, ended up uh, in one day adopting every animal but two, uh, two in the shelter, or is it two or three? Yeah. Uh, so, so it's a fabulous thing. There's a whole bunch of volunteer groups. There's a lot of effort goes into it. Uh, the shelters, all the shelters in the area are full of animals right now. And uh, so uh, uh, if you know of anybody that's looking for a pet, uh, all the fees are waived, uh, so you can get that little critter for free. So uh, anyway, we're participating in that again. Uh, second, I got the opportunity to uh, observe the. Uh, I'm sorry. No, okay, I got the op opportunity to observe uh, the training that the police, fire, and EMS did at the junior high uh, for an active shooter event, and it was just unbelievable. Uh, to, to watch it. It's scary. It's scary. It's it's unbelievable to watch the professionalism. Um, those are very complicated events. Uh, every one of them is different. They It was well thought out. They told me, oh, you know, they just shoot blanks. But their blanks are as loud as a real gun. My ears are ringing like for two days after that. So uh, if, if, if anybody up here, if you get the opportunity to go to one of those trains and observe it, it's awesome. Just to see. They're paint pellets. They actually shoot a paint projectile. I saw it last year. It was unbelievable. It's scary, but 
the bravery of our men and women who go into those classrooms blind and upstairs blind is in smoke, whatever. It's it's and, and this one was watch. interesting because it was not only the police, it was not only the police response, not only a police response, but then bringing in the fire and EMS in behind them to deal with an event. It was really interesting to watch. Well, speaking of school, school starts August 14th. Any oh, by the ways. In Friendswood and Clear Creek both, and I know it'll be a great year, and I know we all, you know, are very sad about what's happened recently, but we're going to have great years in our schools this year. Well, it was, I'm, I'm speaking for you because you didn't speak, so I thought you gave it to me. Con <laughs> consent agenda. I get a motion. I'll make a motion. I'll make a motion to approve no, consent. the consent agenda. I'll make a motion to approve. Second. All in favor. All in favor. Adjourn. <laughs>